Elvite showing his mercy and his goodness is what he always showing himself to be mighty. Always showing himself to be kind. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, quite a few people that are out today of countless different reasons I've been told. And that's fine. I'm just so glad the Lord decided to show up. And I'm telling you, I am so happy to be in His presence. I, I, I feel God's presence. I feel His presence. Thank God for the song of timing that I've been saying. Just thank you, Sister Bonnie, for your best, giving God your best in terms of your song. Thank God for all the ones that gathered here this morning. We certainly appreciate that. The one that's visiting us. I see Brother Morris is here. And look at it. <laughs> And that's all right there. I came to see mom and pop. I came to see them. They see that they doing all right. I'm telling you, mom and pop, the Lord be good to them. Amen. <laughs> the Lord is blessed in. I'm telling you, it's good to have them. And we're so happy for them. Yeah. But one by one, for that week, I mentioned it on last week, uh, that, 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 that term, she, she wanted to come back home. She got to talk to us a couple of times. But she thought she was ready to come home. And she is to here on last Sunday. She was talking about love for church and Amen. Uh, she did that. I can't hear myself, and I can't get back to Ted. Not hear me either. But you know what? I am so grateful to be home. Yes, Pastor did call me, check on me. Nurse of the church just called me, check on me. Thank you, Jesus. And I praise God for them. They get enough of me. To call, see how I'm doing, to pray for me as well. And it is a pleasure to be here. And they're not the only one. There's others that call me. My sister in law, my brother in law, my nephew back and back. I'm sorry, but I'm so glad to see you. Uh, Jackie, of course, one all the time. But there's no place like home. And I praise God for being here. And I always have a song for the Lord, of course. It's not like what it used to be, but I'm grateful for the voice that I do have. Most of all, I'm grateful. How I'm so grateful. I didn't know how much holding this meant. But it's a blessing to be saved. I have been been hopeless all my life, this time, all my life, from about seven years old up, and I ain't tell you how I'm but that's all right. But you know, I praise God for Sister Steve Ann. This is a lot. I just look over that I could just pick them out. But I had a song for the Lord. The Lord gave me a song. Uh, Pastor, he's trying to play. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, Pastor. But I think he's kind of young, and you kind of up there, right? All right. No, the fella had a song. The song that God gave me, the song, was, Oh Lord, I just want to thank you. And all of you that can help me say it, get it anyway. It goes something like this. Oh, oh, oh.
Let me get big. Hallelujah. I praise God for being with a leader. That particular sermon. That's right. I went to church. Maybe God didn't want me to go where we were in, but, but I was sent out to go there. By the time the Lord allowed things to happen, to stop. Right. Hallelujah. But most of all, I very think I thank you for being safe. Yeah. I think if I had a Holy Ghost, I'd be trying. I'm not perfect. Far from being perfect. That's right. I made mistakes just like everybody else. That's right. Mistakes. Me too, sister. But I praise God. I hold on to God's unchanging hand. Right. Hallelujah. No matter what I do, you say you're sorry, you keep on going. And hold on to God's unchanging hand. Right. Hallelujah. Then I praise God for how this sun. If I had been dry, I think I would have been dead. Because I didn't know what I was going through. I didn't know that I was having a stroke. How did you do it? Did it And she looked at me. She said, oh, mama. She said, you had a stroke. I don't know how she knew what a stroke was. She never said it before. I know she think I don't love her, but I do. If I didn't know, I wouldn't see if he That's now. right. That's right. <laughs> she was saying to us over here, saying, but all I knew, I knew when I was in trouble. Hallelujah. That she was out there. She was hot. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. My mama said, with a stroke. See, the Lord allowed me to listen to certain things or hear certain things that were being seen. Just because what I said, because I'm a child of God, that I'm God's child. And, and I know the Lord loved me. And I know the Lord has been. Amen. I have to love all my gift. God has been with me. I have a desire to do what's right and what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. I have my gift. I have my But I praise God. And hallelujah. Then when she got out, I don't know what happened that day. But uh, I think somebody came for rescue. Right. And I believe it was the police. I don't know. And uh, somebody reached out, and there was an arm, um, and I seen the color of the flower they had on. And so I asked her, I said, what's your name? Right. So she says, my name is Sarah. I said, oh, well, I don't know you. She said, well, I know you, and I know where you live. And I remember these things. If I was about to die, right. why would I remember all these things? God allowed me yeah. to hear and I have not forgotten the things that were said. And I saw another arm stretch out. And down that arm was like a up with a bunch of lights. And I heard the voice. And later on, I think the Lord allowed me to know what the voice that was. That voice was not part of my angel. They were praying for But that little angel was Sister Jean. And I called him up later when I was at the hospital after the surgery and everything. And I acknowledged her. Yeah. She told me, she said, Sister Pat, she said, you know why you can hear me? I said, why? She said, two days, I think it's two of my history, prior to you having this uh, aneurysm or whatever that I had, stroke. Right. She said, the Lord put you on my heart oh, to pray for you to start right. praying for you. Can y'all imagine what she was doing? 
She's been through an incredible ordeal. Could have died, could have lost her life. The Lord I saw fit to leave her here. So she can feel that brand new call in the name of Jesus. And you call her. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we thank you, certainly, certainly thank God for, for her. And uh, listen, we're going to move right up right forward right now. Oh, I wanted to have a day. Uh, offering the deacons are going to come. It's like a deacon small kid today. And, and I'm glad to see you, sir. <laughs> and deacon Owen is here. They're going to serve us here today.
we are working on that project now. And, and, and some of us are going to be paying uh, and, and will be paying uh, monies to assist with that. In fact, when I told you that I was going to give at least $1,000 for that project, and, 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 and if they're not going to do that, we would appreciate it. We're not, that, that's not due until January. We want the money in by January, because next year is when we want to do the pay by January. Uh, for those that are interested in being a part of this, um, we want the money in by that time. I'm giving a thousand, some have a pledge to give 500, some are going to give $100 to it. To it. My mom, in fact, my mother, who is not necessarily a member here, she's already given $100 uh, to what this offering, uh, for this particular project. And then my name is, is paid up today. She wants to be a part of this also. So thank you for getting in wherever you can in regarding this project. I want you to be in on this project. Getting in on it, I want you to be a part of it. I want, to, I want you to know that, 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 that part of that paving, the parking lot, if you've been driving, that we've been driving up on in the future, it's going to be something that you have created, you have provided. Right. So we appreciate you for being a part of that. Uh, uh, I, there's something else and something else that I need to make mention of had been around in a little while. That's just Patricia ain't Patricia Lewis back there. <laughs> she, she was glad to be saying oh, that to her. Let's go in the house of the Lord. This <laughs> this pandemic changed a lot of things. It changed a lot of things. And, and, and uh, we had to make adjustments. Uh, and still are having to make adjustments because of some of the things that are still going on. It's, not quite over with, uh, but, but a lot of improvements certainly have been made and have been had here in the states, in the United States, but, uh, but at the same time, I want to guard down the team the improvements and, and what they're doing. Uh, in fact, we are vigilant, as the number says. Uh, 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 continue to wear your mask as, 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 as often as you can, especially in the crowd. Well, I would encourage that, but, but, but then you, you, you can make it a little decision on the Outside, uh, like you said, you know, city, half of the area. But a lot of improvement have been made. We thank God for it. Um, and, and listen, I'm, I'm not going to take long. I'm going to be really short today. I'm going to be really short today. We got, yes, yes, we got, we got, we got an announcement. Severe Winters is going to come with an announcement. That is. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I just got a part that, um, this is Jackie, one of you, Thank you so much. That was so nice of you. Um, I thank you. I thank you for I thank you for praying for me. Love love offering is from Sister Jackie Watson. Amen. 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 Amen.
the less than today, less than today, yeah. you can learn of Sister Joe. Sister Joe. Well, she asked Joe, she says, she asked Joe, do as thou still retain thy integrity. So for our topic today, I want to speak on do you still uh, retain your integrity? Do you still? Uh, Lord have mercy. We're reading, of course, a major book chapter number two. We've read the story many, many times. Many of us have read the story. We are familiar with it. Uh, but the Bible says that one, in chapter two, it talks about it, that the angels came before the Lord to present themselves. The Bible said the devil came also to also. present himself yes, yes. Uh, before the Lord. And, and, and that really reminded me of something, that everybody in the church don't go for the same reason. Yeah, everybody that show up in the presence of God don't always show up for the same reason. In fact, Jesus said it. He, he, he said, some of y'all, you ain't following me because of what I've done for you, what I'm able to do. You're what? following me yeah. because of the Lord, because you got something to eat. You, 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 <laughs> you got something that satisfied you from from the process. It wasn't because you were interested in knowing God and understanding the God. Uh, the Lord asked Satan a question. He said, where are you coming from? Satan said, I've been going to and fro in the earth. And, and then the Lord asked him a question. He said, have you tried to have you considered my servant, Job? The Bible says, say that the Lord gives him authorization. And gives him authorization to go Joe, he goes to try Joe. Lord have mercy. And so he goes down, the Bible says Joe is afflicted. Uh, in fact, his wife, he, he has these boils, these soles on his body. The Bible says from the head, of, from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot. Just look at that situation. And his wife, Mrs. Joe, she sees the awful situation of her husband. She sees the painful situation that he is living with. Right. She sees how ugly and how terrible the situation has changed Job. Ah, Lord, how mercy and how that these oils seem to have come out of nowhere. And now they have afflicted his body. Ah, Lord, have mercy. And, and the Bible talks about Job in, 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 in verse 10, I think it was in verse 10. That, that Job began to teach something that began to scrape his body trying to deal with the situation. Mm. It just reminded me that sometimes there's some things that happen in our lives that, that we weren't ready for and they're out of our control. And the right. only thing that we can do right. is just try to cope with the situation. Try to deal with it. That's we just right. try to deal with what has happened. Right. The change that has happened in life sometimes, we just, we just have to deal with it. We can't change it. We don't have the resources. We don't have the ability to change it. So what we have to do is like Job, we just have to take something, sit down and ask. Get something and begin to work on ourselves the best we can and try to present ourselves the best we can to get through the situation. I'm telling you, life brings changes and life will bring change. The question today is, do you still? Maintain your integrity because life is going to change. Situations, yes. life is going to change. Some of them are going to be awful situations. That's right. Some of the situations that change in life will be painful, be difficult to deal with. It will be hurtful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Some of the situations that life will be ugly, they will be terrible, just like the situation as was well, Job. Uh, everything in life ain't easy. Sometimes there's a hard thing that comes in life. Uh, the question today, brother, is do you still? Uh, do you still maintain that integrity? Uh, if there's ever a time when our faith will be tried, it tried, it's trying times to come when we have to deal with situations that we not, we really can't deal with, we, we weren't ready for. And it's beyond our ability to change. Those situations come to try our faith. 
Uh, but we know that we've been teaching about it, that, that, that faith in God is a must have. That if I'm going to please him, I got to maintain faith in God. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so the question that Mother Joe asked, she asked Joe regarding his faith in God. Uh, she came to him regarding his faith in God, and she asked him, do you see him? With what you're going through, what you're dealing with in life, do you still, uh, do you still retain that integrity? Yes. Listen, that that question, do you still, suggests that once there there, there was something once upon a time. Do you, but, but I'm just wondering. I don't know now. I mean, and I'm questioning where yes. now. Yes. Yes. Is, is, is it still the same? Yeah? Because I really don't know. I know you've dealt with some things now. I know you've been through some things now. Yes. I know some situations have changed in your life. Do you still? Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. When you first got saved, you were singing a song that said, Oh, how I love Jesus. Well, some things have changed now. I don't have mercy. I wonder, do you still love Jesus? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe that was your song. Maybe your song was this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy. I'm wondering, do you still? Right. Yes. Folk knew what you were going to sing every time you got up because that was your song. Watch out, sir. But I'm just wondering, because of the things that have changed Ooh, in my Jesus. Some of the awful situations that have happened. Some of the painful situations yes. that have happened in life. Watch out, now. I'm wondering, do you still? Oh, it's amazing how our perception of things change over time. There was a time in life, there was a time in life when there was something that was really important to us. It maybe it was a job, maybe it was a career, maybe it was a favorite sport we you used to play. Maybe it was a relationship that may have been really important to you. At a certain time. In fact, it was very important to you. In fact, it was the only thing that was really that was most important to you. Yes, yes. But it's amazing how time brings about change, right? Now, some of those things that you used to, you don't they don't they don't score so high on the scale anymore. You've been there, you've done that. Yeah. You've moved it on, you've moved on now, and that's really not. As important anymore. So that question of do you steal that she asked Joe uh, would have been okay under normal circumstances, but Joe said the reason I have a problem with it is because she's questioning my integrity toward my God. Now God has been so good to me. I just can't tell it all. He's done so many wonderful things for me. Uh, Lord, and, and she has the audacity to question and ask me, do I still uh, maintain my integrity? After all you've been through, do you still maintain it? Uh, uh, Lord, I'm urged to guess some things in life have changed, but God has changed. Uh, no, I know it's true. I can't do what I used to do. A lot of things I, I can't do it anymore. Some of the things I used to do, I don't want to do. That's right. Uh, but Joe said, but when it comes down to my faith in God, when you ask me, do I still love him like I do? I'm telling you, you acting and speaking like a foolish one. Because in fact, I still love him. I, I I know I've been through some things and, 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 and it has changed me. I'm not who I used to be. Uh, I, I, I don't see the world like I used to see it anymore. I may have been naive in the, in, in the past and thought everybody was saved, but now I realize everybody going to church ain't saved. That's right. But do I still love him? Is he still good? Yeah. Has he still made a way for me? Yeah. Yeah, I still love him like I do. Yeah, Lord, do you still? Do you still? Yes. Listen, the Bible spoke some things. Paul wrote about some things. 
He wrote about some things in the book of Thessalonians, the second Thessalonians, chapter number two. He wrote about some things, and he was talking about the day of the Lord, the day of our Lord. He said, the day of the Lord is going to come. He said, but let no man deceive you. That that day is going to come, but there is going to be a falling away first. It's going to happen. Uh, what I found out, my brothers and sisters, is that 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 so many times people that started out in the way, they're not still in the way. Some of them that started out believing that in one Lord, one faith, one baptism, just like you and I, they started out believing that. Now they no longer believe that. Uh, People that do the tip today is Pentecost. Today is the day of Pentecost. Let me tell you, I talked to you. I was in, in Canton on, on this Friday at a, a commencement service for our council. And the bishop was teaching, he was preaching. Greg Rogers from Savannah, Georgia, was teaching uh, to one to another graduating on Pentecost. And he brought up the subject. He says, what Pentecost was talking about, deals with is that. Pentecost is not just a one-time event. That's right. Pentecost is not just a one-time event. It, 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 it did happen one day that they were all gathered in one place and they were filled with the Holy Ghost that began to speak and tongue as the Spirit of God did others. But, but he, he, he made it abundantly clear that Pentecost is not just simply a one-time event. That's right. That, that even today, we still need to go back to Pentecost. If you haven't ever spoken in tongue, you need to go back to Pentecost. And if you've spoken in tongue before, guess what? You need to go back to Pentecost. I'm just wondering, do you still believe in Pentecost? Now, we started off believing in Pentecost, believing in baptism in Jesus. We started off believing that people, if you're going to be saved, you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm wondering, do you still believe that? Ah, right. uh, that's the question that is, is posed to us. That we that that that, that we because what happens as we many all of us know, and I've said it, that what happens is so many things in life change. Lord have mercy, so many situations and things that, that happen in life, it changes. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. It, it don't just change it, it life, but it changes us also. It changes our perception of life. It changes what we believe. It sometimes changes what we think, how we think yes. about things. Yes. And we see it differently because of the experiences that we've had. We, we have the more experiences we have, the more things, the, 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 the greater the difference that our life is changed by. God, because now we understand more. We see more. We've seen more. We, we've heard more. Right. So the question that Sister Joe asked her husband is really a valid question because so often you know, we need to be, sometimes we need to be posed with that question. Yeah, that question right. and I'm telling you, it, it's, right. it, it, it's people that don't, don't believe like you and I believe. They, they change their mind on what holiness, what it means to be holiness. That's right. They change their mind about what it means to be saved. Somebody has told them that it's all right, that, that, it, that you can be baptized any way you want to be baptized, and it's all right. And they heard that now. They, see, they grew up on the church bench. They grew up in just one church, just, just understanding one ministry and one doctrine. But now they go on out and they That's left. Right. Some of them have gone to college. And they That's experienced right. some things. That's I remember right. about the Mississippi State. Uh, and, 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 and I had a friend, he was from Malaysia. He was an Asian guy, he was from Malaysia. And and he took and, and one day, and, and I don't know what I was talking about, but he decided to show me his God. He pulled out a little piece of thing in his pocket and said, This is my God. Uh, I'm telling you, everybody don't believe. Uh, so I'm just wondering, with all of the experience that you've had, Brother Joe, do you, still? 
You've had some good experience, but you've had some difficult experience. With what you've done, with what you've gone through now, and what you're dealing with now in life, do you still maintain that today? Do you still believe that Jesus is the Father? Do you still believe Jesus is the Son? Do you still believe Jesus is the Holy Ghost? Do you believe that there is one God? Because of, see, you've, you've seen some things now. Yeah, you've heard some things now. You know now everybody don't believe like you believe. Right, right, right. Mama and them told you that, but, 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 but somebody else has spoken your life now. Right. Do you still believe? Oh, yeah. oh Lord, have mercy. The yeah. Lord is trying to speak to us today. He's speaking to us today to let us know that there are things that are going to happen in life. Yes. Sometimes they are happening and they are beyond your control. They're beyond my control. We, we can't change this situation. Right. We can't change it if we could. Because life is going to happen. Right. But Jesus said, uh, I pray for you that when things happen in life, and they will, I'm not going to pray that everything in your life is fixed. Come on now. I'm not going to pray that every time you get sick, your body is healed immediately. I'm not, that's not going to be my prayer. My prayer is something more important than that. My prayer is that you don't lose your faith. That you still believe in God. Regardless of what you're going through. Maybe God is going to be with you through this life of being in that you're in right now. Maybe the Lord is going to protect you as you're going through this furnace of fire. Maybe that's the way it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I hope you have a testimony that if you don't do it, I still believe. <laughs> and nothing changed my belief in God. I, I still believe. Stand with me right now. I will. Oh God, I bless your name. I bless your name. Do you see? Thank you, Lord. That was the question that Sister Joe asked. Asked Brother Joe to do you see? Uh, a lot of things that have happened now. See, you have had some more experiences now in life. Uh, Maybe God didn't answer that prayer that you've been praying. He, maybe he didn't answer it. Yeah. Because he knows, he knows how to do his business. Yeah. God is the one that wants to get the glory. And, and you may be more concerned about it. You get glory. Maybe that's the reason. God, I don't know how, why he didn't answer your prayer. But I'm just wondering, even though things didn't work out the way you wanted it to be, to work out. Do you still believe in it? Do you still love it? Do you still want to walk up right before Do you still want to please? Do you still want to be ready when it comes? Huh? If that's your issue, if that's where you are, that's your desire that you have in life. But listen, you got something to be grateful for. You got something to be thankful for. Because as Paul was writing, he said, the, the day of the Lord is the one to come. Said, but there's going to be some folks that's going to fall away. There's going to be some people that's going to leave the thing. Yes, yes, Jesus. Help Jesus. Now, listen, help that doesn't have to be me or you. That's right. It doesn't have to be us. Lord, help Jesus. We just need to hold on to what God has given us, what He's told us. Ah, Lord, have mercy. I don't know. I know some other folks have told me some things. But I'm telling you to hold on to what the truth is, what God's truth is. Lord, that is bless you. I bless you. I'm going to pray for us. I'm going to pray for us. But if there's someone that needs special prayer, if you need something from the Lord, you need us to anoint you with oil and pray for you, we'd be happy to do that also. But I'm going to pray for us. Pray for us right now. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we're so grateful, Lord, that we still believe you. 
Lord, we're so grateful that you still have given us a hunger and a thirst after you, Lord. We, we still want to be right. We still want to be saved. We still want to be ready. Lord, I bless everyone that's heard these words and that's listening to these words that, and that will be listening to these words. Lord, that you touch their heart, touch our hearts, Lord. Encourage us, Lord, yes. that we want to continue to be what you call us to be. That we want to continue to walk right before you, Lord. Mm -hmm. To live our life, Lord, that you get glory and that you get honor out of our lives. Bless everyone, Lord. Everyone that's dealing with whatever situation that might be going on in their life. Lord, some of us are dealing with physical issues. Some of us are dealing with social issues. Some are dealing with financial issues. Lord, some are dealing with spiritual issues. They need, the, they need deliverance. They need salvation, Lord. They're not saved. Lord, I'm asking you to show them the way. Carry yourself. Bring them to you, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us to do what you call us to do. Be what you call us to be. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Just a moment. Let's come to special prayer.